DG Lasso. Do you confirm that indeed in the PDA list as claimed by by Mayor Jed Mabilog, wala po ang pangalan niya sa PDA list? Yes, Mr. Chairman. Jed Mabilog, I think he's the mayor. Iloilo City. Noong in-announce ni former President uh, Duterte yung pangalan ni Mayor Mabilog, wala pa siya sa listahan. None yet, sir. Kami po, tinawagan ka po, uh, you talk to General Bato. And 10 to 15 minutes after, tumawag po yung isang general na hindi mo po ngayon mapangalanan but uh, you will name that general during the executive session. Now, question. Bakit mas naniwala ka sa tumawag sa iyo na general kaysa assurance na binigay sa iyo ni General Bato de la Rosa that time? Because uh, any shade of uh, doubt should be considered seriously. At saka alam, alam ko sir na alam ng general na yon na pinapabalik ako uh, ng Chief PNP. So I really didn't take the chance no more. So I gotta get through it And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving Keep my head up when I act, head up that's a fact Never looking back, I'ma keep myself on track Keep my head up staying strong, always moving on Feel I don't belong, tell my thoughts to move along Push myself Mr. Chairman, in the Duterte's list during the previous hearing It was already confirmed and established by uh, retired ano uh, uh, Colonel Espinido now when I ask uh, Colonel Espinido about uh, what happens in Bacolod City in my home city in which uh, one of our counselor was uh, ambushed no? and uh, after a few months dahil dun sa recommendation ni Espinido it was the name of that counselor was delisted now question of the Duterte list eto lang po para malinaw Chider na totoo po ba yung Duterte list Validated ba yung lahat nandun? Um, dumaan ba sa vetting? Let me ask uh, DG Lasso. With regards to the case of, uh, of uh, Mayor Jed Mabilog. Uh, DG Lasso, do you confirm that indeed in the PDA list as claimed by, by Mayor Jed Mabilog, wala po ang pangalan niya sa PDA list? Yes, Mr. Chairman. But do you confirm that... Uh, uh, the name of uh, former Mayor Jed Mabilog was in the, name, in the list of the the Tertis list? Uh, yes, Mr. Chairman. Initially, it was not in the list, but later on, uh, the list was uh, his name was included. Okay, for the record, timeline tayo. When you say initially, it was not in the list, anong taon yun? Uh, Mr. Chairman, Your Honor, can I respectfully request our... Uh, Director for Intelligence Service to explain because uh, there is a little bit of a process that was involved and uh, he can explain and you know you will understand how the Duterte list came about, Your Honor. In Very brief, short, short, in brief. Slide. Yes, yes, Your Honor. But we will just focus in the case of, uh, yes. uh, of Mayor Mabilog. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, it will be confined on the Mabilog case, Your Honor. Okay. So, will the Chair allow Chairman? Chairman... Barbers, will the chair allow? Yes, uh, that is allowed, uh, Your Honor. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, uh, Mr. Uh, chair, Mr. Uh, Your Honor, sir, uh, I think uh, I have a two slides uh, presentation uh, for this, if you would allow. Uh, uh, that is already the slide, sir. So I will... Actually, sir, I can go directly to the August 7. And on August 7, 2016, this is the same presentation that was earlier shown by uh, Mayor Mabilog, and uh, it can be played. Please. Julius Ronald Pacificador, Amtek Antique, Jed Mabilog, I think is the mayor, Iloilo City, Edfredo 
Salan Gutin Biet Beta, Carles Iloilo, Marciano Malones, okay, uh, Maasin Iloilo. Sir, uh, this is the first time that uh, the President mentioned the name of uh, Mayor Mabilog, sir. And uh, this was August 7, 2016. If related to the list, sir, uh, the first... The first list, sir, actually was obtained by PIDEA on August 20 to 21, sir. And it contains 3,363 3, 3, personalities. That is the first list. You're, you're, say, you're talking about the PRRD's list, huh? Yes, sir. Uh, it is officially called President's Drug List in paper, but then it uh, uh, became popularly known to be PRRD list. Please proceed. And uh, only on, let me just mention first that the second list that uh, you mentioned, sir, was obtained from the, again, from the Office of the President, dated August 29, 2017. This was merged with the first list. And the number is 6,191. It was only on October 19, 2017, when uh, the names mentioned earlier by the President, these were 159, including the, uh, the name of Mayor Mabilog, but the rest were already earlier included. So it, only 30 that was not yet included in their earlier list that were added. And uh, that's why the number is from the second list of 6,191, it became 6,221. Next. Mr. Chair, uh, before we proceed, Mr. That, Chair, Mr. Chair, Chairman. Mr. Chair, can we, can we, can, can uh, the PDEA submit to us this list? Um, okay, let me again uh, remind the members that the topic for today's committee hearing is on POGOs. And if you would like to discuss and deliberate issues pertaining to drugs and EJK, then we will have to schedule it for the next committee hearing. However, we only allowed uh, PIDEA and uh, former Mayor Jed Mabilog to uh, discuss only for briefly the issues related to extrajudicial killings and others. So um, if we can just probably ask PIDEA to submit no, to the committee the presentation you just made uh, so that in the next uh, committee hearing of the Quad Committee, we will uh, include that in the deliberations. So I hope uh, the honorable members are, are uh, well informed on that uh, particular manifestation by the chair. So Congressman Akop. Uh, with the intelligence of the honorable Paduano, uh, uh, yes, sir, one chairman. clarificatory question, uh, Pideya. Pideya. Nung in announce ni former President uh, Duterte yung pangalan ni Mayor Mabilog, wala pa siya sa listahan. None yet, sir. So, nung pagka-announce, saka lang na ilagay yung pangalan ni Mayor Mabilog. Yes, Tama? sir. Long after. Long after. Yes, okay. Sir. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Honorable Padvano. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, can I proceed? Please proceed. Uh, thank you. So, uh, yung PIDEA, at least they established na the name of Mayor Mabilog was not listed in the original list. Yes, sir. Okay. No, no, no. It was only listed to the question of uh, Congressman Akop that after, long after, kasi 2016, yung statement of the former president, October 2017. Correct, sir. Nailagay. Yes. And uh, kasama doon yung mga, sabi mo, kasama doon yung mga additional 30 names. 
Yes, sir. Okay. So, it was already established. Now, going back to... So, do you confirm now that uh, Mayor Mabilog's uh, name is not listed in the official vetted, validated list of the PDEA? Uh, let me explain, sir. After that uh, pronouncement, sir, uh, that would auto automatically trigger the uh, law enforcement to conduct validation, sir. And so there were reports already after that. By 2018, sir, we were receiving reports. Although I am not saying that this actually confirms. These are reports, sir, about uh, Mayor Mabilog. Not necessarily confirming. But may, may, direct na lang po, direct yung pagkatanong, direct yung pagkasagot. Is the name of uh, Mayor Mabilog was officially in the list? Kahit anong taon, in the list of the PDEA? Yes, now, sir. Now? Yes, sir. When was that? Now? Uh, after, after, because we now have the... Hindi, ganito na lang po, para hindi, hindi tayo ma, uh, para mabilis. Please submit na lang to this committee. Kasi yung gusto ko makita yung timeline. Ngayon, established na po, na in the first list of PRD's list, wala po. Diba? Then, October 17, saka po, inilagay yung pangalan ng Mayor Mabilog. Yes, sir. And... Balikan ko lang po, the statement, again, Mr. Chairman, I would just like to manifest the statement that was confirmed by Colonel Espinido during the previous hearing na lahat po ng pangalan na inilagay doon sa PR this list, hindi po validated, hindi po duman sa betting because in the case of former Councilor Kanotan, which was ambushed, and after few months, through the recommendation of Colonel Espinido, tinanggal po, pero naambus na po yung councilor namin sa Bacolod City. Yun po ang statement coming from Colonel Espinido because yun po, he has direct knowledge because he is the one that recommends to delist the name of former councilor Kanotan. Yun po established. Now ngayon, dito kay, uh, kay Mayor, former Mayor Mabilog, please submit to us those bases and documents that indeed from the PDEA, pinasok po ang pangalan niya. May I, uh, Your Honor, sir. Please proceed. Yes, sir, because uh, uh, I have to say yes, because there are uh, PR degrees, uh, we have the first, second, and then the consolidated, and then we have the NDIS. In the NDIS, sir, uh, that is where the name now exists. But the, the, in the DIS, it is the official document or list from the PDEA. Tama? Yes, sir. Pero ipinasok nyo ang pangalan, pero hindi pa validated yun. Uh, no, sir. It's... it's Correct, di ba? Yes, sir. Kasi uh, SOP, Standard Operating Procedure, all the names listed unless delisted by the President during the time is being put to the PDEA and then pinapasok nyo sa NDIS. Yes, sir. And the process of process of vetting and validation, ipoprocess pa yun. Di ba? Tama? Yes, sir. Pag nasa NDIS. Tama? Yes, sir. So, ngayon. So, it only concludes that all names in the PDEA na galing doon sa PRRD list is not yet validated. Tama? Uh, process of validation dapat. Uh, at, sir, at some point in 2019, the remedy was approved. So, that was validated already. The remedy... Meaning, uh, this was already approved. The guidelines was approved by the Malacanang, so it become now the official uh, validated list, sir. It's... Mal Malacanang during the time of PRRD? Yes, sir. Okay, but now? Uh, we have already submitted that this be uh, deactivated uh, because this was created by Malacanang, so we have to also seek their approval, sir. It's now, been submitted. Now of the DILG? Yes, sir. Chair, okay, by the at least, at least, uh, malinaw. Anyway, Mr. Chairman, let me proceed with the, with the next uh, question to, my question to Mayor Mabilog. Mayor Mabilog, as you mentioned in your affidavit and as asked by the members of this committee, sabi mo po, tinawagan ka po, uh, you talk to General Bato. And 10 to 15 minutes after, tumawag po yung isang general na hindi mo po ngayon mapangalanan, but uh, you will name that general during the executive session. Now, question. Bakit mas naniwala ka 
sa tumawag sa iyo na General Kaysa, assurance na binigay sa iyo ni General Bato de la Rosa at that time? Uh, because uh, any shade of uh, doubt should be considered seriously. At saka alam, alam ko sir na alam ng general na yon na pinapabalik ako uh, ng Chief PNP. So I really didn't take the chance no more, uh, Your Honor. Ay, po. Tanong po, ganito. Kasi, of course, maniwala ka lang kung kilala mo. Kung malapit sa'yo. Kung you have acquaintances in the past. No? And uh, in your affidavit, you also mentioned about uh, texting your wife no? na huwag pumunta sa krame. Is it the same person? No, it's different, sir. Different? Different. Uh, so, yung nag-text uh, sa wife ko ay asawa po ng isang uh, PNP colonel. Tapos yung nag nakausap ko ay yung colonel. Tapos yung this is the dif is, this is a different person from the general who called me. So the general who called you, kilala mo talaga. That's why you believe in his warning compared to the assurance given to you by General Bato de la Rosa. I believe in the credibility of that uh, general. Okay, at least it was a service. And the, the wife of that certain colonel, close ba sila ng wife mo? Magkakilala? May kwenta uh, Magkakilala siguro, sir, because, uh, but uh, I don't know how close they are. Okay, anyway. Now, you mentioned about uh, if you went to Camp Krame, dalawang pwedeng mayari. Based on the accounts in your affidavit, anyways, you were told na you will pinpoint a certain former senator and a certain uh, presidential. Can you mention again the name of that senator and that uh, presiden presidential? Uh, Your Honor, if you would allow me, I can write their names also. Your okay. Honor. So you cannot mention now, Mayor? Just write down. If I ask you, uh, better you answer yes or no. Is it Senator Maroas, former Senator Maroas? Yes, sir. Oh, is it uh, former Senator uh, Drillon, which is your cousin? Yes, sir. Oh, ayun. So, Mr. Chairman, kaya, kaya, kaya ko tinanong yun kasi... From the very start in the statement, affidavit of Mayor Jed Mabilog, and these preliminary remarks, it is all about politics. It is all about politics. Kaya, yung Duterte's list, again, the, from the statement of uh, Colonel Espinido, napakalinaw po na it was not, it, it does not gone through vetting and validation. Pagkalaban sa politika, nasa listahan ka. Yun yun po. Now, and lastly, uh, lastly, uh, question of, ano ba yun, yung in the U.S., when you applied for asylum, political asylum ba yun? Yes, Your Honor. So you were granted after? 15 months, Your Honor. 15 months. That was when? Uh, March. March of March what year? of 2019, Your Honor. 2019. Of course, if you were granted political asylum in the U.S., they have the basis for granting you political asylum. Yes, Your Honor. And what is the basis in just lang po? They just uh, gave the approval, Your Honor, that uh, the political asylum has been granted. In your request or application, ano pong just lang po, ano pong nakalagay doon? Why should the U.S. government grant you that political asylum being requested by you? Threat of life because of uh, the uh, um, no basis of uh, accusation on illegal drugs, Your Honor. So do you have any document with regard to that uh, granting no? you the political asylum? Yes, Your Honor, I have it. Okay, uh, please submit to this committee that uh, for the record of this committee, please submit that uh, document coming from the U.S. government granting you political asylum on the basis that uh, you have threat of your life. Yes, Your and, Honor. And uh, political in the sense, dahil 
political yung basis on that uh, threat to your life? Yes, Your Honor. Actually, Your Honor, I think it's attached in the affidavit. Uh, thank you, Mayor. Uh, for now, thank Mr. You, Chairman, that, that's all for now. Thank you.